Today we'll be looking at how to write a bash script on your Linux machine. So let's get started. First of all, you'll open your terminal, then ensure that you navigate to root directory or any other directory, then clear the screen. So let's start. You start by writing nano, then the file name. Nano is a simple yet powerful command line based text editor. It has a simple to use interface. So let's go ahead. So the file name is var and ensure that you save it with the dot sh. So we'll have the first line of code which is normally called the bash shebang. And we need to include it at the top in order to tell Linux which interpreter to use to pass the script file. I forgot to add the pound sign, but you need to add it at the beginning. The second line is simply a comment. So that's why you begin with a pound sign or a hash. A comment is a directive that the coder or the creator we we'll leave in order to refer to it later on. The third line will put a variable. I'll call the variable router IP. And we'll assign it a value. That's the value in quotes. Then we also need to display our output. So for the output, you'll use the printf. We'll use the printf in order to print the value to the output screen. And the value will put it in quotes also. Then we'll just call the variable like that, starting with the dollar sign. And also we need to tell it to move to the new line by adding a backslash and a small n. So that's the first line. Just a reminder, it's called the bash shebang and we need to include it at the top to tell Linux which interpreter to use. Then there's a comment there, and then there's here a variable, router IP, and that's its value. Then you need the printf to print the output to the screen. So when you're done, you just control X to exit. Or if you need to understand how to navigate after you're done, you'll search for help by hitting the control G. You see control G is taking us to the help screen, which we can see what's available. There are many other functions, as you can see. So back to our program, and from the help menu, you can go to Control C to cancel. And to finish, you just go to Control X, then press Enter. Then let's list the files. You just type ls to list, and you see there is a created file var.sh. That's a created file. So when you execute it, it will not run. When you call it, it will not run because we have not given it the permission to run. We need to give it the permission by using this command, chmod plus x. This will give it the executable permission to run. It will make it executable. So now when we try to run it again, let's, let's list it. List the files. You see, there is a file. You can even see the color has changed. So let's call it again. So that's how you call your file to run. You can see now we have our output. The router IP address is this one. And this syntax error is because we forgot a pound sign at the top there. You need to include it in order to not have this error. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe if you're new and also leave a thumbs up in order to tell the algorithm what to do.